Good morning, fourth grade. So today we're going to learn how, using some color-coded numbers, to multiply two-digit by two-digit numbers using partial product, which we focused on a little bit earlier. So the first thing we always wanna do is we are going to multiply one digit at a time to get the product. So I wanna show you, so I put green as the four in the ones place, pink as the two in the ones place, red, as the one in the tens place and blue as the three in the tens place. So I'm gonna color code that accordingly. And let's just recap just a little bit. So remember, the position of a digit in a place determines its value. So if there's a four in the ones place, its value is four. If there is a one in the tens place, its value is 10. 10 plus four is 14. So that's how we have 14. And two in the ones place, its value is two. 3 in the tens place, its value is 30, so that's 30 plus 2 to give us 32. So that is going to explain how we get our numbers. So first in multiplication, we start on the bottom in the ones place. So here we go. It would be 4 times 2. That's pretty simple, right? Right over here in the corner, 4 times 2. I gotta have my black open. So 4 times 2. Now our product of four times two is going to be eight. We know that four times two equals eight. And we have to make sure that we put it in the proper place right here, eight. Next, since we're still dealing with the four in the ones place, we're going to do four times 30. We know that it's 30 because this three is in the tens place. So it would be four times 30. All right, and remember the little trick that we know. So when we have our four first, we can see that our two digit number comes second. We can move in our heads this zero to already be over here. So we can just focus on these digits right here. We know those, four times three, I know that, it's 12. So four times 30 equals 120. And when we write it over here, we have to be so careful that we are lining up our place values. So there we go, 120. Now we're done. There's nothing else for this four in the ones place to multiply by because we've already multiplied it by the ones place and we've multiplied it by the tens place. So we're going to move over into the tens place. And remember how we said at the beginning, a one in the tens place is 10. So we know that we're going to multiply 10 starting there. Okay, so first we go from the tens place, we're going to go kind of opposite. So when we started over here, we went up first, then over. But when we move over to the tens place, we're gonna go over, then up. So it'll be 10 times two. And again, I know that 10 times two, that equals 20. So I'm going to put my product right here. And now we know we're still gonna start with the tens. So I'm gonna write that down here still know that I'm gonna multiply this one, which is equivalent to 10, by the three that's in this tens place. And we know, because the three is in the tens place, that it is 30. So now we have 10 times 30. And again, I can look at this and I can tell myself, oh, I have two zeros. So I'm gonna take those two zeros that I see right here and I can move them over. And that way I can just focus on these two numbers here. One times three equals three and 10 times 30 is 300. So again, I make sure that I carefully line it up. And just like an area model, you have to add up all your pieces to get your final product. So here we go, eight all the way down, then four, then four. So our final product of 32 times 14 gives us an answer or a product of 400 48. Now, obviously you don't have to color code every time that you work this out, but it's helpful to see. So let's review. We start down here in the ones place, which is green, four times two, because we go from the bottom up. Four times two, that equals eight. Then we have to know we're done with what's in the ones place right here. And we go over four times 30 equals 120. And because I have no more places to multiply my four by, I just move on over to the one that's in the tens place, which counts as 10, that's its value. 
and then opposite of what we did with the ones, we go over to the ones first, so 10 times two, that equals 20, and I wrote over here. And then our last part in our multiplication is we have a one in the tens place and a three in the tens place. So that would be 10 times 30. And 10 times 30 is 300. So when I add all of my partial products up, it gives me again a final product of 448. Good luck fourth grade and have a great day.